Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on buck converters. Today, we'll delve into the workings of a buck converter, a fundamental component in power electronics used to step down voltage efficiently. Let's start from the very basics. A buck converter, also known as a step down converter, is a type of DC DC converter. It takes a higher voltage input and converts it to a lower voltage output while maintaining high efficiency. Buck converters are widely used in applications such as battery operated devices, power supplies, and embedded systems. They are essential in ensuring that electronic devices receive the correct voltage for proper operation. Let's first identify and understand the key components of a buck converter circuit. First, the input voltage source. This is the power supply providing the input voltage to the buck converter. In this example, it's a 5V DC source. The input voltage is typically higher than the desired output voltage. Second, the switch. The switch is a crucial component that alternates between on and off states. It is controlled by a PWM, or pulse width modulation, signal, which is a square wave with a specific frequency and duty cycle. The duty cycle is the percentage of one period in which the signal is high, or on. For example, a duty cycle of 72% means the switch is on for 72% of the time and off for the remaining 28%. Third, the inductor. An inductor stores energy in a magnetic field when current flows through it. In a buck converter, the inductor smooths out the current and helps to maintain a continuous current flow to the load even when the switch is off. The value of the inductor, in Henry's, influences how much energy it can store and how quickly it can respond to changes in current. Fourth, the diode. The diode allows current to flow to the load when the switch is off, preventing the current from stopping abruptly and maintaining the flow through the inductor. The diode ensures that current flows in one direction, protecting the circuit and maintaining continuous current flow. Fifth, the capacitor. The capacitor smooths out the output voltage, reducing voltage ripple and providing a stable DC output. It stores and releases energy to maintain a steady voltage level. The capacitance value, in farads, determines how effectively the capacitor can smooth out voltage fluctuations. Finally, the load resistor. This represents the load to which the converter is delivering power. It is where the step-down voltage is used. The resistor value, in ohms, affects the current flowing through the circuit and the power delivered to the load. Now, let's understand how these components work together to convert the higher input voltage to a lower output voltage. First, switch on, or high state. When the switch is closed, or turned on, current flows from the input source through the inductor and the switch to the ground. During this time, the inductor stores energy in its magnetic field. The voltage across the inductor increases, and the current through the inductor rises. This phase is called the charging phase of the inductor. Second, switch off, or low state. When the switch is open, or turned off, the inductor resists the sudden drop in current by releasing its stored energy. The energy stored in the inductor maintains the current flow through the load via the diode, even though the switch is off. This continuous current flow helps to maintain a stable output voltage. This phase is called the discharging phase of the inductor. The output voltage of a buck converter is determined by the input voltage and the duty cycle of the PWM signal. The duty cycle is the ratio of the time the switch is on to the total period of the PWM signal. The formula is as follows, output voltage equals duty cycle times input voltage. For our example, input voltage equals 5 volts. Duty cycle equals 72%, which is 0.72. So, output voltage equals 0.72 times 5 volts, which equals 3.6 volts. The actual output voltage may be slightly different due to real-world inefficiencies such as resistance in components and non-ideal behavior of the inductor and capacitor. In our simulation, the output voltage is approximately 3.43 volts, which is close to our theoretical calculation. 
let's look at the visual representation of the input and output signals. First, the input PWM signal. This graph shows the square wave used to control the switch. It has a maximum value of 10 volts and a duty cycle of 72%. The frequency of the signal is 1 kHz. This means the switch is turned on and off 1000 times per second. Second, the output voltage. This graph shows the output voltage of the buck converter. The output voltage is a stable DC voltage of approximately 3.43 volts, demonstrating the effectiveness of the buck converter in stepping down the input voltage. To further illustrate the process, let's break down each step in more detail. When the switch is on, the switch is controlled by the PWM signal. When the PWM signal is high, the switch closes. Current flows from the 5V input source through the inductor and the switch to the ground. The inductor opposes the sudden increase in current by storing energy in its magnetic field. The voltage across the inductor increases linearly. The current through the inductor and the load increases gradually. When the switch is off, the switch opens when the PWM signal is low. The inductor resists the sudden decrease in current by releasing its stored energy. It maintains the current flow through the load and the diode. The voltage across the inductor reverses polarity, maintaining a continuous current flow to the load. The capacitor helps smooth out the voltage across the load by storing and releasing energy as needed. The switch continuously alternates between on and off states at a high frequency, 1 kHz in this example. The inductor continuously stores and releases energy, smoothing out the current flow. The capacitor continuously charges and discharges, smoothing out the voltage across the load. In summary, a buck converter efficiently steps down voltage from a higher level to a lower level using a controlled switch, an inductor, a diode, and a capacitor. By adjusting the duty cycle of the PWM signal, the output voltage can be regulated to the desired level. This makes buck converters crucial in many electronic applications where a stable and lower voltage is needed from a higher voltage source. By understanding these principles and the components involved, you can design and implement a buck converter for various applications in electronics. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please feel free to ask.